Okay, so we recently did a video on repairing the NZXT H210. We originally bought the case damaged and we were going to do some modding on it, but when it turned up, it wasn't that bad. So we did a repair instead and kept the case the way it was. Now, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. I'll pop a link to the top. It's actually a really good one. But since doing that repair, I've been asked a lot of questions about this case and people want to know what kind of features it's got. So I thought I'd put together a tour of the case and see what you get. Now NZXT do two different versions of this. They do the H210 and the H210i. The latter has a few more features, including RGB and an RGB controller, but generally they're pretty much the same case. They also come officially in three colors. You've got the white and black, which is this one. You get a white and red, so it's the other way around. And you also get just a full black. So there's plenty of options there, and a lot of people do mod them, so they do change the colors anyway, and they'll put it into a blue, a black, that kind of thing, and they look pretty cool. Taking a little bit of tour around this, You've got the standard NZXT flat panel on the front, flat panel on the top, and toolless entry to all the compartments. So obviously this one comes with a glass panel, and that one we can just simply undo a thumb screw and take the panel out. And it's a full panel as well, it's not one of those three quarter or half heights. And it comes with a black border, so it's actually pretty sweet. You have the same on the back. The back panel is actually inset, so you've got no sharp edges or anything like that. And we can simply undo the thumb screws on the back and drop the panel out just like that. Now the panel is super thick metal and it's all double rolled, so it's got that NZXT quality built through. Some of the other cool features this case comes with is a lot of cable management in the back. They've actually produced these plastic holders with all the Velcro ties across the back here and also across the side here. So you've got cable management here for your 24 pin, as well as your CPU power around here. And you have a couple of caddies in the back for your SSDs, plus your power supply basement here, which they've actually configured to either fit an SFX power supply or an ATX sized one. And they've done that by producing a panel at the back, which will fit the smaller one first. And if you remove that panel, you can fit an ATX one straight in. For additional storage, they've also included a 2.5 inch SSD mount in the front here in the form of a plastic bracket that you can remove, mount to, and stick back on just like that. And it's branding the NZXT logos, so that's pretty cool. Now this is an ITX case, so it will only fit an ITX board and you have a two dual slot PCI for your graphics card. So anything bigger than that, you're not gonna be able to fit in. But it does have all the standard NZXT styling, including the flat panel on the front with the NZXT logo the venting down the sides, as well as a single 120 mil fan placement on the top. On the front IO, we've got the power switch, we've got a USB, we've got a USB-C, and a dual 3.5 millimeter MIDI cable for your headsets. And they do include an actual splitter in the box for that, so you can split your microphone and your headset off. As far as cooling goes, they allow you to fit up to two 120mm fans in the front as well as a 240mm radiator and you can simply fit that by removing the front, then removing the dust filter in which they allow you to clip in and out which makes it really easy for cleaning and then there is a panel just on the inside that you can remove with thumb screws or a screwdriver depending on how tight they are, this one's pretty tight and then you can fit all of your stuff up front, then mount it in separately. So that's actually really good for ease. In the top, we've got the 120 millimeter fan placement there, which you can use for an exhaust. And in the back, we have another 120 millimeter fan placement, but you can also install a 120 millimeter radiator there as well. So you can actually set up a dual AIO system or potentially some kind of water cooling, but you're gonna to have to do a lot of work trying to make it fit because it is such a tiny case. Now you are restricted somewhat with airflow because the only ventilation you've got from the front fans was gonna be these vents on the sides at the front here and here. But generally you're not gonna be putting a super powerful system in this at all. Where your power supply goes, you also have dust filtering there as well, which is removable and quite easily to clean just like that. Now I absolutely love this case because what NZXT have done is they've taken one of their bigger models and they've simply just shrunk it. So it's in the same format as what you'd expect for any kind of standard case. And it makes it look much more like a little tiny mini system. There's no funny placements for your graphics cards. There's no funny placements for hard drives really, apart from this extra one that they put at the front. And they've completely thought about all of the cable management, including the addition of this extra bar in the front, 
or in the middle that NZXT cases generally have, which give you that little bit of flair and quality, but it's also useful in the fact that it will hide your cables. So you can easily hide your SSD cables here, as well as your 24 pin ones all behind that bar there. Now I can't wait to build into this case. I'm gonna be looking to build a system into it soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna watch that. And if you have any questions about this, make sure you drop them in the comments below and I'll see if I can get them answered. But until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.